Santa. 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 Remember when you sent me out last week to get the sleigh repaired? Yes. Well, Did you get it done? It's not ready, but I got a loaner. I got a loaner sled oh. for us, Santa. That's a sleigh. That's what we started out with. I remember don't think that I years can and years ago. My foot on that. Well, you did years ago. Remember, both of us fit on this. Yeah, but we were a lot smaller back then. Well, I was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, what are we gonna do now? Well, we gotta find another sleigh somewhere because we gotta go to the nursery. A nursery? Yes, a, pl a plant nursery. A plant nursery? A plant nursery, yeah. We oh. gotta make plants. We gotta make Christmas plants for all of the girls and boys. Oh, really? And then deliver them. But we don't have a sleigh! Uh, but I know where there is a sleigh. You do. And it's a pretty big one. Is it? Yep. Will it fit lots of gifts in the back? Oh, yeah. Well, then really we, should, we should go get it. All right. Let's go. Yeah. Santa. Yes. Can you crank up the reindeer so we can get out of here? Did you forget the GPS again this That's year? That's not my job. Whose job is it? Is, is no, it's not me. my job. I'm not working for you. You don't pay me enough. We're, We're supposed to be in Florida. The, GPS the end of the trip. We haven't even started and you screwed up already. Where are we anyway? I don't know. Mine worried about where the other elf is. Well, the other elf had to stay back. I think Rudolph got sick, oh, so he had to muck out the stalls. But you know, this is South Florida. In fact, I need to take this suit off. It's just too doggone hot. Put your board shorts on. Yeah. But anyway, we ended up in Palm City, Florida. Of course, this is a beautiful place to pick out different plants that people can make into Christmas gifts. Don't you think? I think that's a great now, idea. Now this is Palm City Palms. We finally made it. We were able to take our suits off. This yes. is pretty great. This is great. <laughs> well, again, here we are at Palm City Palms. Actually, what we're going to do is to show you, the public, what you can do to go to a local nursery and buy things and plants that you can decorate for Christmas and then after Christmas take it out and put it in your yard and possibly use it next year for the same thing. So that's what I do. First I want to introduce my two elves. This is Kate O'Neill right over here. She's from, where are you from? Originally from England. Oh, from England. Okay. And Pat, Pat Bonus. Anyway, so I think what we're going to do, we've already picked out because this is Palm City Palms, we've picked out some palms that we think that you can decorate and you can put these in your house or wherever it might be as decorations and then later on move them out. This palm right here is the bottle palm. It's pretty interesting because it doesn't get very tall. It gets to be about 12 feet. And the reason why it's called the bottle palm is that it's really interesting shape. It's got a uh, beautifully sculptured crown shaft and uh, this palm gets to be no more than about 12 feet. It's very salt tolerant. It thrives really well in South Florida in our heat, and um, it's uh, what we would consider an accent palm. So it can, you know, last many, many years, and it's beautiful and interesting. Pat, would you like to take the next palm? Yes, I would love to. This is the Christmas palm. How appropriate it is because we are in the Christmas season. This palm actually is wonderful. It gets red berries, which coincides with our Christmas holiday. This palm, it will thrive in, in zone 10B to 11, and it's self-cleaning, makes a great accent palm, grows to about 18 feet. And if you look and see, we have the elf in the palm today. He's nicely decorated, and he accents our, our Christmas palm today. This is spindle palm. I like it because it's fairly small. It offers a great small specimen palm for the landscape. It can be planted singularly or in groupings. This palm offers glossy green leaflets that naturally arch. Very formal and striking accent to the landscape. And it grows approximately 18 to 20 feet. And it lends itself very well to decorations for the Christmas season. This is one that you could decorate and have on your porch. Possibly, uh, you could bring it inside, but it's a little bit bulky. But definitely outside, it's one that you could decorate year after year. Well, now what I'd like to do is we'll have the elves from Palm City Palms bring in some plants that we can also decorate uh, for the Christmas season. One will be a palm and the other is just a regular landscape plant which you can also use. 
So first we'll start out with Lady Palm or Rafus. This is a really beautiful palm, excellent. Uh, this is the best suited for use in partial shade. This is one of the palms that you can use in shade, sometimes even a little bit more than partial shade, I would suspect. Makes a very effective low screen in the landscape as an understory palm. The Lady Palm has enjoyed great success as an interior palm or used as a container specimen, and it grows to seven or eight feet, so it's a very small one. I can remember years ago when I was in the nursery business, these were used almost exclusively in malls. In other words, these were places where they would continue to grow and look excellent almost year round. So it's a very, very fine palm, not only for your landscape, but for your interior and also for a Christmas decoration. All right, I think what we wanna do now is sort of decorate the palm. Being that we're here in South Florida, we thought that we would use some coastal decorations like a starfish, we have a whelk, and then some other things that you can find in the environment, like these pine cones that you could just place in the pot if you like. Okay, we also went traditional this season. We're using the tropical theme, and we also have regular red Christmas balls, which really bring out the color of the green from the palm. And it brings a little color to it also. The starfish come out very nice. Well, the other thing you could do too, is you could actually ring this with uh, lights and make it even stand Absolutely. out a little bit more. Yep. Yeah. Just I was think, asking, what did you call these? Um, well, this is a whelk, I think. A whelk? Whelk. I think so. I didn't know that. Yeah. All right. And a starfish. Things that you can maybe find on the beach and you just use a little raffia and a glue gun. Right. And, then just and they look very nice and tropical for Florida. All right. I think this uh, really lends itself to being decorated uh, very festive uh, for the Christmas season. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in a really standard landscape plant. Up to this time, we've had all palms, which is of course important because this is Palm City Palms. But she also has a wonderful selection of regular landscape plants, and a lot of them lend themselves to also decoration for Christmas. This one right here is Podocarpus. As you can see, it can be shaped into a tree form that looks a little bit like Christmas already. All right, thank you. And this, of course, again, can be landscape. This could, can be also, because it can take a little bit of low light, could be used on the porch. Probably not inside the house, but definitely on the porch. And then later on, could easily, you can easily leave it in a pot on the porch itself or plant it in the yard. Absolutely. Be creative. We Very think. creative. <laughs> anyway, it lends itself definitely to the Christmas season, can be decorated and really be a, a very worthwhile decoration. What I'd like to do now is to bring Susan and her crew into here. And we want to thank you very much for your help. And I must tell you, they certainly have the plants that you can actually come out and be part of. They're more than willing to help you. And everybody so, have a wonderful holiday. Yeah, and everybody Merry, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, well, goodness gracious, here are my two Elfies. Looks like you're busy. And my goodness, we have the owner and the operator of this uh, establishment. This is Mr. Marvin Pinder. Merry Christmas, Marvin. Merry Christmas. Thank you for allowing us to come to your wonderful, wonderful establishment. You have a beautiful selection of plants. And what we plan to do here is to show people how they can come, buy the plants, put them in the pots, and you even have the pots to put them in, and then take them home and use them for decorations around their house and possibly even take them out and put them in your landscape after Christmas. Yep. So I thank you very, very much. You're welcome. Good. Now what we want to do, Elfies, is we're going to make some containers and we're actually going to make the gifts right here. And one of the first ones we've got here, and this is of Euphorbia. Actually, it's sort of a distant cousin to a poinsettia. And what this is, it's a small euphorbia. Uh, it's not dangerous like some of the older ones or the, the bigger ones. 
And what we've done here is we've got these pots, they are available here, and on the inside, there is another pot. And what we do is we'll take this point center right here and stick it right in. Now the beauty of this arrangement is that both of these plants will survive for a good great deal of time, even after Christmas. Oh, what did you stick in there, Elfie? Huh? All right, we'll let you go this time. Anyway, actually, the poinsettia, this is not a flower. This is actually called a bract. So this is the leaf. This little tiny part right here is the flower. So these actually stay in color. Last year I had some of mine that actually stayed in color like this almost to Easter. So this is an excellent plant that you can buy and if you take care of it, it will last a long, long, long time. And then you indeed can take it out and plant it in your landscape. I think the next thing we'll do is, this is what the, I used to call a strawberry pot, but it's very decorative that can be used for many different things. So I'll bring this over to you very lightly. And of course you could make this an herb. You could serve some of the herbs which we could stick in. Maybe this is nasturtium, right? Nasturtium for some color. A little bit of color. Then we could use some thyme. Thyme. Thyme what? Oh, thyme. Oh. How about some parsley? Sounds good. Parsley, parsley is parsley. wonderful. And what is this? Is this oregano? Re oregano or rosemary? It's oregano. Oregano. Mmm, smells delicious. Anyway, then you end up with a very nice pot. Now the one thing we did, we got a little soil in here. So we just put this in here. What you could do is leave the soil in, make it a little lower, and just put this in for the holiday. And then after the holiday, you could take it out and put it in another pot or whatever thing you want to do it. Or you could, I suppose, leave it by itself. The other thing you can do with an arrangement like this is just switch it out and possibly put a... Something else in. Yeah, there you go. What's that? Tarragon. Tarragon. What do we got here? And if you wanted more flowering things, you could put in a small poinsettia. Why not? Like this. So there's just all sorts of things that you can do with a pot uh, like this that has different, different holes. And actually they're all what we would call, they call this a four inch pot, but it's a little bit smaller. And they have just plenty of arrangements out here and plenty of different types of containers that you can use. So I think this is a very excellent way that you could do things. All right, now what we're going to do, we're going to up a little bit. I think what we'll do is pull this out of the way and go to an individual pot. This is probably just as expensive as this, but as you see, it's a very nice decorative pot. And maybe put something in it that's uh, a little bit more fancy, like maybe an orchid. So this looks fairly good right here, actually wonderful. Now what you do in this case, get that doggone thing out of there. <laughs> anyway, what you can do here is that of course it's not a tight fit, but what I've done in the past is take, here hold this, take some sphagnum moss. Where's the spat? There it is. That you can buy. Actually that's not sphagnum, well, I guess it is and put it in around the plant and then put the plant right in here. Actually what I have here is Spanish moss, but sphagnum moss can do the same thing. And so not only that, you have a decoration on the outside and again, you can leave it in the pot, keep it properly watered, or you can take it out and put it in a different container. So this is again, what is, who put the apple in? <laughs> It's Elfie Pat. Anyway, this actually makes... Great hostess gift. Um, well, I didn't see, that's a good idea. Great hostess gift, exactly. Now, I think the next thing that we'll look at, if I might go around the corner here. Now this is another decorative pot. They just happen to have it, but go ahead and take those out and let me show them how you did it. So instead of putting the moss in, you could build the plants up using the smaller plants, have maybe a, a featured orchid in the sure. middle, and then some of these smaller ones, some fern, and maybe a bromeliad or something right. like that. 
Now again, to fill in the bottom, you could either put dirt, or you could again use bagging Yeah, nails. or rocks. Right, or rocks. rocks, that's very good. So this makes a very nice decorative uh, plant. Just not gonna quit. <laughs> anyway, this is very, very nice. All of these they have here at Kinder's Nursery. They not only have the pots, but they've got all of the different uh, small containers. This is a small terrace fern. We've got a bromeliad, and this is a small orchid. And so you've not spent a lot of money, yet you've really got a very, very nice uh, arrangement. Yep, looks great. All right, bring us the next one. Now this is a hanging basket. Um, while they're doing this, I'm gonna go get one that's already made up and show you, but go ahead, gals, you, under, you tell them about this. Well, you could put maybe something in the center that's tall, and then some shorter plants that are different colors and arrange around it. The trick is, you really can't go wrong, just be creative. Give some good color. Yeah. Like that. You can plant all these, decorate it, and then give this as part of the gift as well, and then people can have it as a hanging basket gift. And actually what I have here, these are ones that they already have. He's got a wonderful collection of uh, hanging baskets that are already made up. So all this needs is actually some decorations. Now, Pat, you can put some in here. <laughs> and you've got a ready-made, either as a gift or something that you can have, hang in your porch or your foyer. And it's very decorative and it will last for a very long time. Now this one is, of course, one that's very appropriate. This is a kiss. Christmas, <laughs> Christmas cactus in bloom. And ready again, made, ready made, made ready to go. All right, have we got something else over there? Oh. Boy, I really hate that one. All right. Okay, now another option would be if you wanted to do something a lot smaller, this little gift yeah, basket, right? right? And again, this is a little gift basket, and then we put the individual small plants, right? You could pull them out and show them. The poinsettia and the couple sure. of the Christmas cactus. And both of these are Christmas oriented. Very appropriate. Very, very festive. And then you can and again, buy... Right, and you could stuff this with, uh, what, Spanish moss? Or? Yeah, rocks, anything to raise it up a little bit. They have an excellent assortment of high quality poinsettias. All right, as you can see, Kinder's just has a wonderful collection of things that you can make for Christmas gifts. And you know, the one thing that uh, I really noticed is that I was in the poinsettia business for many years. They have a collection of wonderful quality poinsettias in different sizes and colors out here, which is the perfect Christmas gift. Uh, so, I want to thank you for watching the show. Have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. And this is Farmer Fred and their elves, his elves, saying, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah.